When I was very young, the summer months meant summer holidays from school, which meant traveling to other cities to meet family, which meant long train rides, which meant comics. I had a big stack of comics and storybooks at the start of what would be a one or two day train journey. And hopefully along the way at various stops, I would replenish that stack from the stores and the vendors on the railway platforms. So long travel was inextricably linked to comics from the very start. However, as I grew older, I stopped reading comics while traveling, mainly because I stopped reading comics in general. I was far too serious for that kind of stuff. But even after I returned to reading comics as an adult, I very seldom took comics with me uh, while traveling or uh, generally do. There are a number of reasons for that, primarily because comics are really fast to read on the whole. Not always, but there is a tendency to read them faster because you're looking at pictures. They're slimmer, they're thinner. So they don't really provide much bang for the buck. They don't provide value. They take up a lot of space, but you're done with them faster. On long trips, prose reading just seems to be the way to go go along with the smartphone or uh, laptop or entertainment system. But after my recent travels, I wondered if comics were something that I should revisit as something I take along with me on long trips. In this last trip, I did buy a stack of back issues from a comic book store, but honestly, I finished them while waiting to board. So that was obviously not the solution. Trade paperbacks also seem to be equally unsubstantial for the pages that you take with you. You're not going to get a lot of reading. What you need is something more dense. So I thought next time I could read a deluxe edition, something like Saga, but I finished it as soon as I got it and the amount of time it took me to do so means that it wouldn't have been the right choice anyway. The same thing holds true for O Josephine, which I finished as soon as I got it and it is possible to read Jason too fast, I think. So this kind of thing wouldn't be the right solution either. I have a couple of new volumes of Astro City, but again, these are the kind of things you finish before you even board the plane. I have received the Usagi Yojimbo Saga book eight, which contains a lot of issues that I have not read, but although this fits the heft and the meat and it's definitely something I can take my time with on each page and slow my reading down. I just don't want to take a limited edition signed hardcover with me, which is the other problem with traveling with comics. You're always afraid of them getting a little beaten up and comics, especially the single issues are sort of fragile anyway. So either it would have to be something disposable, which again, wouldn't be weighty enough, or you'd have to take up extra room in taking care of it. Another thing that I have noticed for myself is that on dimly lit flights, sometimes it's hard to read a color book. The reason why prose works so well is because of that contrast. So I'm definitely thinking that a black and white comic is more suitable than a full color comic, which you may not be able to appreciate properly anyway, which automatically makes me think that manga could be a good solution. But again, something like 20th Century Boys, which I've been meaning to start, would finish very fast, I think, and I'd need to carry all three separate volumes I have to give myself a chance, which becomes an additional hassle and might still not be enough. Because again, there is, I think, a tendency to read manga a little faster. But I still want to try a comic out, so I have to make a selection very quickly, because before you know it, I'm at the airport already on the verge of a 20-hour trip. Unlike the travel I just had, this is a holiday, which is why my lovely wife is accompanying me, and we're flying all the way to Chicago, Illinois, from from New Delhi. The comic I decided to bring with me is Scott McCloud's The Sculptor, which I've been meaning to read for a while now. It seems to fit all the parameters of being thick, but also dense, black and white comic. I did take the dust jacket off and leave it at home in order to save wear and tear on it. I think I'm gonna start with this on the first leg of the trip, which is just a four hour flight before the longer 15 hour one that follows it. And I'll see if I can keep you updated on how it goes. I think we're about to board now, so I'll check in with you in a little bit. Well, that was a four hour flight out of which I got to read for one hour. It was a 4 a.m. to 8 a.m. flight, so not really the best time for reading and it was kind of dark, etc., etc. But I still managed to finish 120 or 130 pages, which I guess puts me about a quarter of the way through the sculptor. I also watched a movie. So I'm a quarter of the way through the book, a quarter of the way through my trip. We've got a 15 hour flight from here to Chicago. So at my current rate, even if I read for just three hours of that flight, I should should be able to finish this book. So far, I'm really enjoying it. It started off a little expository, but the bizarreness and the abstraction is starting to come together now. And it's a speculative story, which I kind of knew, I think, but it's not at all what I expected. To be honest, I thought it was something like 
like Pygmalion, where someone sculpts something and it comes to life and he falls in love with it. I think that's just the impression I had from the cover of the book. But I've been really surprised with the story so far. And I've been appreciating the techniques that Scott McCloud is using. It's not that difficult to take your time with these pages. It's not black and white though. It's sort of blue and black and white. So it's got this third tone or maybe just a duotone. One thing I did realize though is I forgot my reading glasses. I guess I'm not used to the fact that I need them quite yet. So I'm hoping that the next flight taking place as it will in broad daylight with the windows open shouldn't see too much of a problem allowing for reading. Still, I should probably pack that into the front part of the flight, which I will do unless I fall asleep, which is quite possible since I've been awake for more than 24 hours now. We'll see how that goes. I don't think I'll be able to update you in the middle of the flight, so it's probably going to be 15 or 16 hours later. All right, let's see how much more we can get rid of the sculptor. So here I am in Illinois. My journey has finally ended, but the book has not. As you can tell from the bookmark, I got through less than half of this book. By the way, check out this one of a kind for the love of comics bookmark my wife made me for my birthday. But the reason I was unable to finish this book was that the flight was completely dark. I mean, we had that little light on above, but without my reading glasses, I just couldn't do it. I felt a bit like that classic Twilight Zone episode where I had all the time in the world, but no glasses. So in some ways, this is a failed experiment, but in some other ways, it's a guide for being prepared. I really should have known better. I've now picked up a $10 pair of glasses at a Walgreens on the way here, but too late for this trip. So there you go. I enjoyed what I read so far, but I need to be better prepared. Maybe I'll give this a shot on the way back, but let me know if you think that's worth another video, or maybe I could just update you on the community tab. Now my vacation begins, and as I mentioned on the community tab here on YouTube, this vacation is going to be full of comics. So I expect to keep making videos a little different from the ones I usually make at home. I don't have all of my equipment and my books shelves with me but I think it could be a fun little variation. I'm not quite sure exactly what kind of videos I can make over here but I hope you're along for the ride. If you haven't already subscribe and hit the notification bell to be updated of any new upload. This has been for the love of comics. Thank you as always for watching and I'll see you at the next video.